what I made, Rose. That's goofy. I was thinking of adding a Steve to it, like on top here, but it can't really fit on there. <laughs> How about it's a doctor? Hold on, Rose. Hello, Mommy. This is the sheriff. Can I please speak with an adult? Um, this is the sheriff. Hello? Who am I speaking with? This is Hopper. I'm the nanny. Is there any other family I can talk to? There's been a horrible car crash and the victims did not survive. <gasps> oh, dear. I saw a with them of uh... two girls and this was the last number dialed belonging to, a uh, Violet. Um, their only other relative is their Aunt Jenny. But they haven't seen her. Poor lambs. Uh, girls, um, something bad has happened to mommy and daddy. <laughs> well, if there's nothing else, I'll be on my way. Good luck, girls. I'm sorry for your loss. If you need anything, please give me a call. Yeah, we'll be fine, thanks. I can only take one of you rats in. I don't want to leave Bee. Oh, you won't be leaving her. She'll be leaving you. No, she's not going to live here in this dump. It's better than foster parents. I hate you! I will get her back. You can't separate us. I already did. Violet, I'd like you to meet your foster parents, Mr. and Mrs. Kruger. Hello, Violet. Nice to meet you, Violet. Welcome to your new home. Hi. This is nice and all, but why can't I just go back to my sister? It's gonna be okay. Mommy, Daddy, where's Violet gonna sleep? The guest room for now. Okay. I'm gonna let you guys get to know each other. If you need anything at all, Violet, don't hesitate to call me. Here's my card. Thank you very much. We'll take good care of her. Frankie, could you please show Violet to her new room? Sure, right this way. How terrible it must be to lose your parents at that age. Can't imagine. Let's just give her some space. Good morning. Good morning. I have some new clothes for you. I hope you like them. Why don't you hurry up and get ready, sweetie, okay? Thanks. I have so much homework last night. I have like a million and then Hey, look, there's the new girl. Would you look at that? She doesn't talk. I wonder what's wrong with her. Why is she even here? <laughs> Did you hear about her sister? Hey, you lost? Yeah, I, can you help me find my locker? Sure. We're gonna be late. All right, let's start our lesson today on division. I'm gonna teach you some new vocabulary words as well. Today we'll review what quotients are. You're both late. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Quiet down. I'm sorry. Okay, take a seat here. Now, let's go back to our chart. Root that can be made out of another number. You may recognize this from learning multiplication. Obtained other than the remainder. 
There's a rumor going around that you abandoned your sister. Is that true? What? Abandoned? Is that what you heard? I can't believe you just said that. I'm sorry. Violet, you'll need a pass. Damn kids. Auntie Jenny, can you make me some lunch? Auntie Jenny, Auntie Jenny, can you make me some lunch? Hmm. So, help me understand, why did you run out of the classroom? I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again, I promise. You know, here at the school, we, we try to respect our teachers. I'm just having a really bad day, and it isn't easy switching schools. All I ask is you do the best that you can, okay? Yes, sir. I'll get on back to class. Miss Tricia, could you walk her back to class, please? Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry I assumed the rumors were true. Before you assume, learn the facts. Before you judge, understand why. And before you hurt someone, think before you speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Hey, sorry about earlier. Can we talk? Is this some kind of prank or something? Because if it is, I'm not in the mood. What do you want? Look. The reason I was being so mean earlier is because it's hard for me to fit in. I'm taller than everyone else, so the kids make fun of me. I hope you understand. Yeah, I, I get it. Why weren't you talking earlier? Well, I just have a lot on my mind. My parents died in a car crash, and I just wish I was able to say goodbye to them. I'm so sorry. I also have a little sister named Rose. I had to leave her with my auntie. She drinks a lot. I'm afraid she has hurt her. If she hasn't yet, she will. No wonder you weren't talking earlier. You do have a lot on your mind. I live with, right now, my foster family, Frankie. They're really nice. If I could just get my sister to come live with us, it would be so much better. Well, that's just it. You have to go get your sister. You're right. I need to go get her. Yeah, she's lost without you, and you're lost without her. Let's do it tonight, right after school. Yeah, I'll distract our parents. I can't wait to see that stupid look on my aunt's face. Wait! I need a ride. Hi, who's this? I'll explain on the way. What's going on?
Rose. Hey, Rose, it's me. You get so tired. Just keep it down. You're gonna wake up to Jenny. I'm taking you away from this stinky place. I'm taking you to my foster family. You like them. They're really nice. Get me out of the place. Let's go. Okay, Rose. On the count of three, you run. One, two, three. No, no. I'm here to help. Your principal called me, and from what I can tell, he was right. Grab your sister. I'm getting you out of here. Yes! No more evil out to Jenny! Is she okay? Yes, you are! She's smiling and jumping. I think she's gonna be okay.